In this video, we're going to look at how to save your ggplots using the ggsave function. First, we'll start by loading our libraries. We can either load the tidyverse library or the ggplot2 library. Let's create a quick plot from the storms data set. First, let's load the storms data and take a glimpse at the data. Now, we'll make a simple plot examining the pressure over the years. Now that we've made a plot, Let's use the built-in ggplot2 function called ggsave to save it. The ggsave only requires one piece of information, and that's a file name. We type the file name in quotations and include the file type we would like to save. Here, I'm going to name my plot saved plot and save it as a .png. So in all, I have typed savedplot.png. Let's see what happens when I run this code. Here, we receive a message from R confirming that the file was saved, and furthermore, the size it was saved in inches. But where did R save the file? Our image can be found in our working directory. To find out what our working directory is, we can use getwd. You can run this code and follow that file path to find where your plots are being saved. You can change this location by specifically setting the path. Alternatively, if you would like to save it to a specific place in your working directory, you can specify the folder name followed by a backslash and the plot name. For example, I have a folder named destination in my working directory where I would like to save my plot. I specify that in my ggsave function by writing the folder name slash plot name. If you do not get the expected file type saved in your directory, add an argument for device and set it to your file type. For example, for the TIFF, we would add device equals TIFF. Next, let's explore some of the other settings we can change, beginning with specifying the plot to save. The default setting is the last plot you plotted. That setting looks like this. If you have not saved a plot yet, an empty plot will be saved, but it will simply be a white box. However, Let's see what happens when we set our plot to an object called testplot and then specify testplot in our ggsave function. Now, even if we make another plot, the plot saved will be our testplot, not the last plot plotted. Another aspect of our plot we can specify in the ggsave function is the size. I would like to save my plot as 5 inches by 4 inches. Let's start by adding the desired units. ggsave accepts inches, centimeters, millimeters, or pixels. In this case, I would like to use inches as my unit. I specify such using units equals. I then add quotations in, an abbreviation for inches. The other unit abbreviations can be found by going to the ggsave help page, but are simply cm, mm, or px. Now that I've added my units, I'm going to specify the height and width measurements. Since I want a five by four inch figure, I will set width to 5 and height to 4. I no longer receive a message telling me my plot size that was saved since I specified it myself. Finally, another useful argument for ggsave is DPI, which allows you to set the resolution of your plot. You can set to one of three settings. One, retina for 320 DPI, two, print for 300 DPI, or screen for 72 DPI. Now you have the tools to save your plots with custom settings using ggsave. 